What is going on you guys? This is Gamer Crash Craze here and welcome to a new Call of Duty video. This video is going to be on Black Ops 4, something that's been spoken about all across YouTube and social media on the internet. And we're also going to be talking about the topic of what actually needs to be done in order to save Call of Duty. Black Ops 4 has been the center of Call of Duty topics these past few weeks due to the community's excitement about Treyarch and the anticipated Call of Duty coming from this development team. It is no secret that Treyarch can make one awesome Call of Duty and with the recent decline in popularity, this dominant first person shooter needs a resurgence. In my opinion, Sledgehammer Games has done quite a bit to bring back COD with the release of World War II, however it is not completely there. Call of Duty World War II released with a load of issues from issues with even loading up the game to being stuck in an empty headquarters. Updates have been thrown around with buffing, nerfing, and changing the mechanics in the game. Although this is a good thing, we want developers to listen, test stuff, make necessary changes. I feel like a lot of these updates could have gone through that may have should have been done before the release of the game. What bothers me the most is the fact that we still have yet to have everything out for this game. And yes, I am talking about them paid jobs, but it was also interesting that we didn't even have Emblem Editor at launch. Stuff that's super minor, but hyped up for release and then postponed. So recently Activision has gone ahead and made the announcement for Black Ops 4. This news exploded even more with an NBA star, James Harden, which who was witnessed wearing a hat imposing that new Black Ops 4 logo. An interesting note about that logo is the fact that the new logo doesn't accurately follow Roman numeral numbers, as the number 4 would actually be symbolized with an I and then a V, instead of the four I's Pre presented in the release trailer. A small release video for the game is on YouTube as well as featuring a couple guys welding out the Roman numeral logo as well as a teaser towards the end. As far as what we do know, there will be a community event on May 17th, hopefully shedding more information on the game and the release for this game is actually on October 12th. That is insane to think about a whole month earlier than a usual Call of Duty release. It makes me excited as well as nervous because I wouldn't want the game to get rushed to meet this early October deadline. This kind of segues into what I'd actually really like to talk about on Call of Duty in general. It has been the running gag joke that COD is dead. No one plays it anymore. To that, I would both agree and disagree. Plenty of people still play the game, however, a majority of the community is just sick and tired of not being heard and receiving the same thing year after year. We went through the jetpack phase, which ended horribly and now we're in this stage of the game where we're happy to be back on the ground but not completely satisfied. In my opinion, Call of Duty World War II lacks in its kill streaks and its spawns. The fact that it went through so many issues at the very beginning I think is also why many are so done with the game in general. So what can be done to bring the community back? What can be done to save Call of Duty? It's a loaded question and to me Activision needs to take a step back pull back its development teams, and for a period of time, give more time between title releases. Each development team has about a three year cycle to release a Call of Duty title. To me, it just doesn't seem to be working. With different development teams come different ideas and different focus points. Perhaps Activision also just have two that work together to create COD titles and release once every other year instead of these yearly releases. Right now the Call of Duty franchise rides on hype which is most definitely definitely high right now with all these rea reactions and freakouts over Black Ops 4. But once the hype is over, the game falls flat and that's so unfortunate for a fan like me to see. Other games like Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed have taken steps towards fixing and coming out with bigger and better games. So why not one of the biggest first person shooter games? Try, try and do this. But that's where I'm going to leave this topic. Leave your opinion in the comments down below. As more information releases about Black Ops 4, I'll be sure to be covering it. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stick around for that. Lastly, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.